Joe was so hands-on. You know, Star Trek has many, many writers. Joe, in the second, third, fourth, and fifth, I think, did he write all the second season? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he started writing all of the episodes until the third season, but the fluidity and, and connection of those scripts and the fact that he was sitting in his office every day right there, uh, that was very uh, different than, you know, you'd work on Star Trek and you'd have the suits, you know, the guys that were the money guys, and they'd come down and everybody kind of tense up a bit. Nope, you know, somebody from the head office is in, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. You don't have that over at Babylon 5. Mm. You feel you can walk into your executive producer and say, you know, I have a, a question and I'm not really sure what's going on. Can't do that at Paramount. There's a hierarchy and you've got to go through it. So that's, it is different. People always wonder, what's your life like if you're on an hour dramatic series? And, and Marjorie will tell you after doing Re Rescue 77, because we talked about this at length, it ain't glamorous, folks. There's, you have no time. You know, there, people are like, why isn't Scott Bakula doing uh, conventions right now? Because he's exhausted and he has two little children. I mean, by the time he gets home on a Saturday, Saturday's sleeping. <laughs> that's what it is. Saturday is fallen to bed and die. And Sunday with true. his family. And, you know, you could throw, I don't care how much money you throw at somebody, your time becomes extremely precious to you. 